Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true daughter, welcome to Slime Rancher 2 and, uh, oh my. The original Slime Rancher was just a joyous game. I cannot think of another game that was just so good at making you feel joy. It was just a happy, lovely game about exploring the world, meeting some cute monsters, and then, actually, you know, I think about it, trapping them in prison, and then occasionally forcibly crossbreeding them. Aside from that, joy. And now there's another one in early access, so work in progress, not feature complete, diddly diddly dee, but, oh, I'm ready to dive into this right now anyway. Let's go. If you've played the first game, by the way, you're gonna settle into this nice and easy, because uh, the basic setup is... Uh, identical. Just in case you don't know what you're getting into, you don't know the original, basically everything in this game is done with a giant hoover. So I'm going to suck up a carrot. Brilliant. I can suck up more carrots. I can also shoot them out. Lovely. And there's also, ooh, there's a bird here. So just activate a new tank. Brilliant. So okay, I've got different tanks I can carry, different things all at the same time. Magnificent. But let's focus on the big stuff here. Yes, indeed, the blobby monsters. These are slimes. So pink slime likes eating fruit, veggie, meat, pretty much anything, actually. So we're just going to suck you up. Brilliant. And now we can put these guys into a lovely, lovely enclosure. Here, buddy, have a carrot. And if we're lucky, he'll get hungry. Go and eat the carrot. And as a result of eating the carrot, he is going to be a very happy slime. And there we go. He now does a bit of a poo, actually. And no, no, no. Just be having that. A pink plot. Brilliant. And then we trade those for money. And that's basically the core gameplay loop. All right. And I guess ultimately what this game boils down to is, uh, yes, farming and uh, economy. If I want to get to lovely, exciting new regions to expand my ranch, I'm going to be needing an awful lot of money. To make an awful lot of money, I'm going to need to, yes, raise an awful lot of beautiful, beautiful slimes, uh, feed them all sorts of food. So, okay, as I've got some money, how about we set up a garden? And now we've got that down, we can indeed start growing some vegetables. Okay, I need one actually. Sorry, I've forgotten somehow this works. All right, you know what, guys? The spares, you can have them. So you just eat that, you just eat that. This is growing right now. Be flipping beautiful. For the time being, probably the best thing we can do is just get out and explore. Because until I make some money, it looks like, uh, yes, heading west is going to be the only thing I can do. Welcome to Rainbow Island. Welcome to a, a giant pile of food. And yes, indeed, we're going to be wanting... Okay, you're eating those carrots. That yields a plot. So we do enjoy plots. Need the carrots too. Sorry, lads, you're coming with me together with uh, all your friends. Let's get some basics down here. Lovely. Okay, Um, while I was away, it turns out the slimes are most definitely escaping. But this is, this is fine. All right, what we're going to do is, well, okay, hang on. How much would, please stop attempting to, okay, I'm going to be honest, I did bring this one on myself. Like, they are hungry and angry, and I didn't provide them with food, uh, so instead, uh, they're going to go and find their own food. How much to uh, reinforce the walls? 260 odd, okay. What we're going to do is, this is a terrible idea. They're all going to escape immediately. But that's fine, because I'm now going to give you guys all the food you could ever bloody want. You're welcome. And now we just absorb the plots. The dynamic economy does mean as time goes by, these are going to be worth less. But for the time being, oh yeah, that's going to solve a problem at number one. That's now double height. You guys ain't going anywhere. Back in here, if you'd be so kind. Lovely. But what we really want to do is, yeah, start automating this. So, one auto feeder, one plot collector. Lovely. That's going to be about a grand. But it's not just money. That's not the only thing plots are being used for. If we just nip down into the basement, this is where the science happens. Yeah, better hoover, more health, more energy, all the rest of it. So, okay. As a starting point, 
pink plots and a giant pile of money would get me a bit of bonus health. But the dash boots, that's what I want. So uh, money and boom. So yeah, the game's kind of about balancing how many plots you sell versus uh, how many you put into research what you're doing with your economy. It is, I suppose, uh, at its base, an economy game. Just to keep on keeping on. We don't need many more in the way of uh, pink plots, but I think if we just keep going in this direction, okay. We've now got ourselves uh, bunnies. So okay, suck you guys up. A uh, cotton slime. Lovely, we were needing cotton. I do believe. So just help me out here. I'll meet some carrots too, I'm guessing. Oh my goodness, they're being friends. This is just the best game. So, back at base, I suspect these guys are probably starting to get hungry. But that's fine. Don't worry, lads. I brought you some carrots. Help your bloody selves. Be beautiful. One brand new pen is 250. So, okay, lads. You are going to be providing me with... I wouldn't recommend it, Mr. Chicken. I'm going to be honest. You go in there. They are going to eat you. And the plots get me just enough for the beginning of my bunny farm. Brilliant. So, okay. You guys can be right here. Brand new pen. Brand new bunnies in here. Sorry. Cotton slimes officially. And you guys... Diet veggie. Okay, so they won't eat meat. They'll only eat vegetables. Uh, here's a bit of pogo fruit. Hang on, no, no. Save one. Sorry, should really set up a farm, actually. Definitely should set up a new pogo farm so we've got brand new fruit coming in. I think I've just realized I've made a bit of a mistake here, which is uh, you guys, uh, you want to eat veggie. This isn't a veggie that I put in with you. This, in fact, is... Uh, of fruit. Okay, sorry. Those are distinct. My bad. I will be right back with some... Yep, they definitely wanted the veggies. Okay, you guys, you can stop escaping now. I am bringing you... There we go. They are much happier with vegetables. Yes. So, lads, you are coming with me, all right? The vegetables are going to be next to the vegetable eaters, and you can be next to the fruit patch. It's going to be fine. And here we see the limits of what I'm doing, which is, yes, I have crashed the price of pink plots. Unfortunately, they're just not worth that much anymore. I need to get out into the world and find something No. And a good way to do that could be, yeah, sleep until night. We might get different ones out once it's dark. Phosphors! Lovely, beautiful, glowing bastards. Now, you guys, what do you want? You want fruit. Okay, we can do fruit. We can just uh, grow a bit more fruit in the world. Lovely. Though we're going to see one more thing here too, which is, yes... Crossbreeding. Crossbreeding is accomplished by a creature eating a type of plot that's not its own. At which point it becomes a hybrid between itself and the type of plot it ate. And they can very often be very, very good indeed. Because yes, the cotton pink Largo, it produces, yes, double plots. And it means on top of that, they actually have a more varied diet. Though to be honest, the Phosphor Cotton Largo... I mean, that's pretty good too. It's super cute and it's producing too much better variants. Okay. You know what? That there, that could be a winner though. Oh dear. Okay, so if a creature that's already crossbred keeps crossbreeding, i.e. eating another type of the wrong poo, it becomes a tar and tars are mean and we need to just... Get rid of them. Though sometimes the best option is just to um, run away. Right, get another farmer underway. Grow at some more fruit because, uh, yeah, I don't actually need to keep phosphor slimes, to be honest. All I need to do is feed them enough that we can start generating phosphor cotton hybrids. So, in which case, honestly, you guys can just be. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Harvest the strawberries, release the phosphors into a corner, they eat fruit, that's fine. Feed them a giant pile of uh, strawberries uh, right here, lovely. Help myself to uh, 
the Phospha plots. And honestly, you guys could just go at some point. To be honest, yes, I should actually kick them out of the base because now they're just going to cause trouble and eat fruit. Instead, here you go, guys. Have some lovely, beautiful... Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. You guys are... Oh, you guys are cute. So if I just keep putting more and more fruit in here, only the converted ones eat the fruit. They poo out the blue plot. The blue plot turn the yellow ones into the blue ones. And at that point, everybody's happy, kind of. Aside from the fact it's looking... Yes, rather too crowded, to be honest. Right, you guys, you're now my money makers. So, automated plot collector. Brilliant. Now we just need food. They can be fed literally anything. Going to be honest, guys, I'm not sure you get fed anymore. Because there's just not much profit in it. Right, back out into the world to make sure we, yes, dump the phosphors. We don't need them hanging around. Okay, got one good thing here. A map marker suggesting that, yes, actually, there's a bit of diversity of ecosystem around here. So if I just turn around and then take a right, there's a deserty section. Oh, but while I was trying to get there, we've got a Gordo who wants to be fed some vegetables. So, okay, buddy. You can definitely have uh, some vegetables. We'll just keep feeding you. Okay, so uh, bring this guy handful of veg uh, when we find some. And seriously, how do we get round to the... How do we get round to the desert? There's got to be a way. Oh, no sign of the desert, but... A tabby. Tabbies are wonderful because they're tabbies and tabbies are inherently wonderful. But, yeah, they do need um a tiny bit of work potentially. You see, tabbies don't eat anything except meat. And meat is, uh, you trying to eat me? Please don't attempt to eat me. But if we breed a tabby with something that eats, you know, uh, fruit or vegetables, uh, we get ourselves a much better result. Oh, well, I tell you what, we finally found our way to uh, the desert. We're a long way from our home now, but there's got to be something new in the desert, I see a handful of uh, bunnies uh, right there. We've got a handful of tabbies. I mean, I could just take the plorts home if I just wanted to uh, breed tabbies into uh, my pink population. I mean, I guess it would make the pink ones I've already got, you know, a bit more useful. So just hop down in here, help myself to uh, some carrots. Is that? That was not a cave, uh, but it was. It was. Wait, hang on. Is, is there anything here? No, this is just a. You can't swim in this game, by the way. Also, does anyone, um, does anyone know what happened to literally all of my... They were phosphors. Phosphors can't... Oh, no, they all died. They all died in the... I kind of forgot I was not... Glass and... Oh, dear. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's... That's sad. Okay, we're going to have to redo this with like a solar shield it's fine this was a terrible accident and we're not going to judge me for it so by the time i get home this pen should be yes one full of blue glowy rabbits and two not dead okay because this time i'll put the sunroof on brilliant so okay we do now need a chicken coop brilliant and ideally Yes, stop them escaping. That'd be great. So, one rooster, a giant pile of hens. Now, I'm no farmer, but I would imagine that should be producing eggs at some point, right? So, they're just doing their work, and meanwhile, yes, the tabbies, you guys can all just be in here for the time being. I'm sure your plots are worth good money. Oh, yeah. A good 26. That's pretty damn good, yes. Okay, speculation. The one bit of the world I haven't really seen so far is... Uh, yeah, cave systems. Something underground. That might be where we can find a, a good tabby crossbreeding candidates. Though before we set out, okay. Harvest all of this because we are just swimming 
in this nonsense right now. This is now just producing free money. What could I do with that downstairs in the lab? Okay, well, step one's got to be resource harvesting, surely. And on top of that, yeah, I can get myself a tiny bit more energy with cotton. So, okay, cotton plots are good. Everything else I just need money for. Oh, yeah, give me a special nozzle. I love it. Pop the other ten in as well. And I should have enough cash left over for... Oh, yeah. More power, more sprinting. I love it. Now, I can't help but notice a jetpack's available, but I need Radiant Ore. And I'm guessing if I go out into the world right now with my new resource harvester... Here we go. It's going to be this stuff right here. And that gets me... Jellystone. I don't know what that is, but it's solid and squishy at the same time. So, okay, that's going to be a rare resource of some description that I'm going to be needing for the advanced crafting. Also, come on, Bertha. I am giving you... Oh, that was it. He was so nearby to that. And the Gordo Slime has exploded, leading me to... Oh, Leading me to a brand new area, potentially. Okay, well, life just got sexy. Also, don't don't blast Jellystone out, because we're trying to collect it. Don't know why, but it seems rare, so that seems like a good idea. And... Okay. We've just made something go wooble. And something over here has gone wooble too. What am I looking at? I think I might have just activated a, a teleportation device. Okay, life just got sexy. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, just hoover up every bit of food you can find, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I saw over here another Gordo, a giant pink one. Now, they definitely eat literally anything. So, with two full stacks of food, if we are very, very, very lucky... Boom. That was good enough. Now, what precisely does that do? Oh, hang on. What was what was that? Okay, that was just like a little gift container, I'm guessing. That's fine. Some more carrots. No, 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 not you. Just... Okay. That's got me up onto the high ground. So the Gordos give you access to new areas. Brilliant. And that gets me to... Oh, my... Same thing again. So I've seen you before, buddy. That is... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. This is teleportation, isn't it? This is uh, new areas and this is what we need. Oh, blimey. Okay, we're standing a bit too nearby to that one when it went woogle. But in we go. And if we are very, very lucky indeed. Ember Valley. Now, isn't that precisely what I was just looking for? So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't like the fruit and whatnot. What are you guys? That's... Oh, you're just basic pinks. Well, that's no bloody use to me at all, is it? Oh, but I'll tell you what is very much of use to me. That's Radiant Ore. Okay. Radiant Ore lives here. That's jetpacks. Okay. Being everything, get jetpacks instead. Oh, but I'm seeing something. I don't remember you guys... Angler slime. Oh, I'm going to be honest. I'm not like... I'm not super keen on anglerfish, actually. So I feel like I don't necessarily want to invite anglerfish. Also, they are carnivores, which is bad. I don't need uh, carnivores. I need to actually, yeah, do the opposite. I need to uh, blend uh, tabbies with something not carnivorous, though. I'm a little concerned by... The promise of uh, nasty things up ahead. Uh, oh dear. These ones are mean. Okay. You bastards are mean, are ya? Well, I'm guessing you mean until you get given something. And Oh, hang on. You've been crossbred with pink. Meaning you will eat fruit. Meaning you're going to be chill. Brilliant. Okay. Get rid of uh, the cotton plots. We don't need them. Maybe take uh, angler plots. Just because uh, why not, to be honest. So, no. No, no, no. Have a carrot. There you go. Carrots for everybody. 
I was trying to use this thing, but in just a second. Guys, guys, stop up. There we go, lovely. Right, keep on keeping on. We're just exploring. We're trying to find uh, something that's not carnivorous, but is cool. Oh, I think we might have a candidate here. We have got, hang on. We have got, yes, the rocks. Now, where are the rocky people? You are, okay. Pink Rot Largo will eat anything, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. And you are, okay, that's because that was Pink Rock. What about you? Okay, we can make a vegetarian tabby by blending together cat and rock. I would like to see it in action so I know how cute or not it is, please. You, buddy. Eat that, please. Please, please eat the plot. All right, I'm asking you to... Is that cute enough? I don't know if that's cute enough to be crossbred with Tabby. Also, really nice quality of life improvement, which is... Uh, yeah, I can just start dumping stuff back in base from here. So I can put all this radiant ore and all this jelly stone and all the silky sand uh, right there. And now I don't need to bother, uh, yeah, dealing with uh, any of that. Though I think once it's in there... It can't come back out. So don't want to put the rock plots in it. Because uh, then they'd be stuck in, uh, yeah, crafting world. Uh, as opposed to crossbreeding world. So, uh, okay. Could be useful if you do just want to uh, keep exploring. Which, to be honest, I kind of do. Because I can now just go and, yeah, see what's going on on this little bit of the world. Just head over to a new island where the ecosystem hasn't collapsed yet. And uh, in just a moment... Starlight Strand. Now that does sound sexy, doesn't it, though? Ooh. Mysterious doors are fine. It of interest, potentially. Oh, but I will say, the Phosphor Rock Hybrids. Those are pretty cute. That there, that's a cute little thing. Oh, but hello, sexy. We've got ourselves a, a honey slime. Okay, hang on. You eat, you eat fruit. Okay, I'm going to be honest. A honey tabby does sound uh, incredibly adorable. Uh, right there, that sounds uh, that sounds lovely. Okay, though, John, why are you sucking them up? You don't you don't need them. All right, all you need to do is take them uh, somewhere where there's uh, fruit. Those are vegetables. We need uh, fruit. Now, just release them right here, and they will hopefully eat the fruit if we are very lucky not you there we go honey plots times many brilliant step one dump the ore because i suspect i might just have come up with enough ore to actually yeah make a jetpack in a second hang about double check on this jetpack is going to be phosphor and then some money Oh, we could do that. And a backpack is just tabby stuff. That we could do too. Okay, we are going to be in a much, much better shape in a second. So, okay, I appreciate the tabbies are so, so hungry. They're just all pressed up against the glass wanting to eat the many, many chickens. But here's what we're doing. All right, lads, you are being turned into rock people. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful rocks. I believe the rock people uh, double check here. Yeah, they still eat everything. Pink just always means you can eat anything you choose. Uh, so now, as a result of that, we're going to... Actually, I'm not going to feed you... Okay, I'd like to feed the big ones. Try and feed uh, the big ones, uh, if at all possible. Okay, only the big lads uh, may eat for the time being. Oh, this is not holding together. This is okay. Hang on, we've we've got we've got problems. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Here, here's some food. Look, I, I'm giving you food. You're not being starved to death. I promise. And as for the tabbies, uh, yeah, hang about. If I make you into uh, honey tabs, so just pop some. Oh, blimey, they are a lot bigger. And okay, they're not. They're not that cute yet, but that's mainly because of fruit and meat. Okay, they don't eat vegetables, uh, just fruit and meat. I may have just given away most of the, um, the fruit. Right, 
Put that into there. Put that into there. That's going to be a happy tabby who does a big plot poo. And there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Perfect timing. The next fruit crop is just coming in. Meaning more and more and more honey tabbies. Lovely. Just put the fruit anywhere. Only the honey tabbies can eat it. And now the vast majority of you are actually converted. Now we can just... Oh, no, that was the... Okay. Uh, 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 mistakes may have just been... Mistakes. Mistakes may have just been... Mistakes. I, I was meaning to feed them carrots. There was, that was supposed to be, that was supposed to be carrots. That was, that was supposed to be, it's, it's fine. We're not going to, okay, I feel, okay, it, it, it's, it's, they weren't that important to, the, the rock people, they were not that important to the, to the, to, to the anything. The, the rock people were not, no, 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 get, get out, get out and stay, stay out, please. Stay out. Just no. Okay, we may have we may have made some some slight slight miscalculations there. I may have put the wrong the wrong plot in at the wrong at the wrong time. No, 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 no. Please uh, naff off, buddy. Okay, uh, there's been there's been some slight slight issues. Step one is just get these guys out of the base. Okay, they're. Definitely gone, and the only survivors are the tabbies and, uh, yeah, one pink who got away somehow. But you know what? This here, this is actually going to be perfectly easy to fix. Because I can just hoover up a giant pile of uh, basic pinks, and bunnies will just be coming out of our ears too. You see, we just uh, pop the bunnies uh, straight back into the same enclosure. But don't forget, I'm still swimming in old, beautiful phosphor bits and pieces. So we just absorb all of them, and then we just toss all of them in. And they are back. It's almost like the genocide didn't happen. Now, the rock pinks, that's going to be trickier, I will admit. Um, they're just going to be basic pinks for the time being. You see, look at that. As good as new. In fact, now every tabby has been converted and they are mostly happy. Life is good. Okay, we're dumping all of you in here for the time being into the transforming machine. Jetpack. Let's flip and go. Still, next on the list of things to do, I would say would be... Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. So jetpack is just straight up energy usage. The more energy I've got, the more jetpacking I can do. Lovely. Especially as that does let me just, oh yeah, cross over all these areas, reach nice high up caves. Oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah, though admittedly. Okay, that's going to be a teleporter to somewhere. Still, I suspect the biggest gains are going to be made right here in Rainbow Road or whatever it was called. Because, yeah, this was the area with uh, a huge amount of uh, walls and stuff in the way. Now that I've got this, however, oh yeah, now things are going to open up for me very, very quickly. I can just hop up here and uh, move around at lightning flipping speed. I love it. Now, I think what I'm looking for is, uh, yeah, the honey area. There was definitely some form of map high up in the honey area. I just need to locate it. Here we go, made our way back. And oh, blimey. Hello, buddy. What a, ooh, honey phosphor. Okay, you know what? He looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to deny, he looks super awesome. So, okay, hang about, just make my way up to here. There we go. Now I've finally got a map for not even the area I wanted a map for, to be honest. But okay, at least I've got it. Still, back at base, swimming in money. And obviously, I'd say it's time for a big expansion. Looks like right here. Oh, yeah. A lovely, lovely water area. Now, that sounds good. Because I would like to add some anglers into this area. So, 
Okay, it's saying here ancient ruins, but it looks watery to me. Is it watery? It's not watery at all. I'm so sorry. You guys don't get to be in water. Okay, the best I can do is an enclosure that sort of uh, has a sea view. And that's gonna have to do, I'm afraid. And that I'd say is a pretty good introduction to Slime Rancher 2. Given, yep, we just expand, crossbreed, make sexier hybrids with more and more valuable poo. And in terms of the world, uh, oh yeah. Feels like we are barely even at scratch the surface here. But crucially, and I do want to stress this, like... You don't have to. You don't have to do any of this. The entire purpose of this game, to my mind, is just to chill out and do whatever you feel like. There's no time pressure. Enemies that attack you really aren't that aggressive about it. They're very easy to outrun. You run and jetpack ludicrously fast. It's just... It's a game that's designed to be a nice, relaxing, fun time. If there's one criticism I can think of, it's that it does feel like an expansion pack for the original Slime Rancher. Like, there's not really much new going on here, but then again, the original Slime Rancher was really good, so it's not much of a criticism really, is it? But for the time being, at least let's leave this off, because, uh, oh yeah, I expect we'll see this again. We did a live stream of the original Slime Rancher back in the day, that was a lovely lovely time. Expect the same for this because, uh, as I say, it's basically just more of the same and I do not consider that a bad thing in the slightest. So uh, hopefully you are looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd and this has been Slime Rancher 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. Were we doing virtual reality or was that just like a metaphor for lesbian sex? And then he smacked me lightly across the face with the money! What? This is... Well, where is this going? What's happening? We're gonna buy a whole new bin, and we're gonna write Brendan on it, and we're gonna put him in it and toss it off the pier.